If you've been wondering how S-Corp taxes work, you're in the right place because I'm gonna walk you through S-Corp tax basics and what you need to do to file taxes as an S-Corp. Hi, I'm Sarah from Collective, the formation tax and accounting solution for self-employed people. Let's talk about what to expect from your S-Corp when it comes to taxes. An S-Corporation, or S-Corp for short, is a tax status that offers a unique blend of benefits for businesses. S-Corp changed the game for small business owners in two ways. One, with pass-through taxation, and two, a chance to reduce self-employed tax. Here's how it works. The S-Corp tax statuses allow business profits and losses to pass through to the owner's personal tax return. This means that the business itself doesn't pay federal income tax. Instead, S-Corp owners are only taxed once at their personal income tax rates they are not subject to double taxation. Keep in mind that although an S-Corp is not subject to federal income tax, some states have imposed S-Corp taxes, franchise taxes, or other business level fees. Be sure to check your state and city's S-Corp tax filing and fee obligations. In most cases, the benefit of being an S-Corp still greatly outweighs any state level costs. So how does self-employment tax change with an S-Corp? When a business elects S-Corp tax status, the owner is required to receive a wage via payroll. Self-employment tax is only calculated on that wage rather than the entire business profit. So even though both the wage and the business profit contribute to the owner's overall taxable income, the reduction in self-employment tax can equate to thousands of dollars saved. Tax season changes with an S-Corp. Going forward, the owner will file two tax returns every year. The S-Corp tax return is filed first or on around March 15th. Then the owner files their personal return on or around April 15th. Here's how the taxes work for the business. An S-Corp files an annual tax return on Form 1120S. The business tax return reports the S-Corp income and deductions and generates a Schedule K-1. The K-1 reports each owner's share of business activity and is issued to the owners to use for their personal tax filings. If your state has S-Corp tax filings, you'll also need to submit a state-specific S-Corp return along with the state K-1 forms. Here's how the taxes work for the owners. Once the business tax return has been filed, owners of an S-Corp will receive two tax forms from their business, a W-2, which reports their wage, and a K-1, which reports their share of the business profit. Both the W-2 and K-1 are included in their personal tax return and contribute to the owner's taxable income. The tax is then calculated based on the owner's filing status and overall taxable income. And there you have it, the one-on-one -on, -one on how S-Corp taxes work. If you need more help with your self-employed business, go to collective.com and learn how we can help you with your business formation, taxes, accounting, and bookkeeping. I hope you found this video helpful. Please don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe. See you next time.